Good morning, folks. Time now 507. This morning, what's trending on social media? Boycott Walgreens. Hashtag boycott Walgreens because customers say employees are denying birth control and condoms at the counter. They are not allowing customers to purchase these items because of so-called moral objection. So of course, people are chiming in on social media left and right. One person saying, hey, allowing employees to refuse to ring up someone for birth control is really bad customer service, number one. Number two, this will cause customers to feel uncomfortable. This woman is saying, hey, my $24,000 a year in prescriptions will be going elsewhere. Another person saying the same thing. They're about to lose about $100 a month for my refills, plus convenience items that I grab when I pick them up. So I did ask you on my social media this morning, do you support hashtag boycott Walgreens or do you not? So Ben and Sarah coming up in uh, the next hour, we'll see how people are responding. I've got, I've got a thousand questions. Are these workers, is Walgreens aware these workers are, are, are doing this? And are, is Walgreens okay with it? And why does Walgreens have the stuff on their shelves if their workers then refuse to sell them? Questions that need answers. So as of right now, Walgreens has not put out a statement um, in regards to that. So of course, after all this trending on social media, they should definitely answer those questions. So I read they have a clause gotcha. for employees that if they have a moral or religious, interesting, they do not have to. Another uh, pharmacist can fill that. That's but it still doesn't answer the question of why do you have it on your shelves? Yeah, no. But I mean, if if they're allowing outs for certain workers, then I mean, I guess that makes a little bit more sense about the discrepancy, at least. All right, Ruby, keep us posted. Thank okay. you.